We've been talking about Victor Boot. Let's bring in mm -hmm. somebody who knows a lot about him, and that's former DEA Special Operations Director Derek Maltz. Derek, thanks for being here. You were involved in the capture of Victor Boot. So we can talk about it here and what a bad deal it was, but give our viewers a sense of who we just traded away here. Thank you, Pete. First of all, politics should never get in front of national security issues. I was fortunate to be the head of the DEA Special Operations Division in the summer of 07, went to the White House to meet with uh, former President uh, George Bush's uh, deputy national security advisor, who basically asked the DEA to pursue this really significant post 9-11 threat to the world, a guy named Victor Boot. So of course the DEA uh, has a global operational footprint and we put together a complex sting to go after Victor Boot. It was a very successful operation after like seven months. It was like record time to actually indict him on four terrorism charges and to bring him to justice to America. Unfortunately, we had a setback at first with the lower Thai court who ruled against extradition. But Pete, I never watched such great work by American patriots in the White House and throughout the interagency. Uh, President Obama was newly elected. He, he started out. And Secretary of State Clinton, Attorney General Holder, all their, uh, you know, their principals were at this meeting. And basically, everyone came together because we did not want to see Victor Boot get released. And fortunately, we were successful, and he was brought back to face justice. And as you said, he was convicted on terrorism counts, very significant terrorism counts. You know, Derek, what I worry about is the precedent that this sets. I mean, what does this mean for Americans traveling abroad? Well, for me, I would be very concerned. Uh, you know, I would highly recommend that people are checking the State Department warnings because Putin has just established a new tool for corrupt leaders around the world that can hold Americans hostage because they know and they will take advantage of the weakness of our policies in America. We're going soft on criminals and we're not being supportive of global security issues and law enforcement is being, you know, put on the side. I mean, I'm very proud of the DEA's efforts because DEA is, is an agency to investigate drug trafficking. In this case, we help the National Security Council and the government and the country to go after this threat uh, who was responsible for the death of thousands of lives. He was fueling brutal wars and conflicts around the world. So it was really a successful operation. But now to see, but you know what's really ironic, Lisa, is Joe Biden was the vice president. So he was fully briefed by all of these uh, folks that we met with in the White House and throughout the Department of Justice, Homeland Security, intelligence community. And he should have known what a threat to the world this Victor Boot was. Yeah, you were part of those meetings, Derek, where the Obama and Biden, as Joe Biden is vice president, as you point out, administration, um, they were talking about the strong warnings. They were talking about the threat to the United States that Boot represented. You know, I think, Derek, there's a lot of talk about, okay, he armed this guerrilla group or that guerrilla group, and he was terrible across the world. But I think important in this conversation is, but what did he represent to Americans? What type of threat did he represent to the United States of America? And Preet Bahara, he's the former U.S. attorney for the Southern District of New York, uh, he talked about this. He, this was in 2010. He said Victor Boot allegedly jumped the chance to arm narco terrorists bent on killing Americans with an arsenal of military grade weapons. Today's successful extradition underscores our commitment to protecting Americans on our own soil and throughout the world. The historic operation culminating in today's extradition would not have been possible without the courageous and groundbreaking work of our partners at the DEA. It's hard to look back at the warnings and the celebration in 2010 and then look forward 12 years, Derek, and say those very same people, or at least some of them in Joe Biden, think that's a, an appropriate trade for the United States. Right, exactly. Pre Barraro was one of the elite prosecutors in America who prosecuted some of the most dangerous terrorists in the world. This guy was really excited about selling five tons of explosives, 800 surface to air missiles, uh, 10 million rounds of ammunition, you know, unmanned aircraft, uh, ultralight aircraft with grenade launches to go after Americans in Colombia because he wanted to go after his enemy. He was proud to say that he was fighting America for 10 to 15 years and he was excited for this deal to be consummated. And so, yeah, it's very ironic. But you know what? 
Uh, Will, look at what's going on now in America. Everyone's talking about gun control, right? The, the Biden administration is pro-gun control. Every time there's a shooting, gun control, gun control. Now we just released the biggest trafficker that I've ever heard of in the world back to Russia in the middle of a war where they're killing all these innocent people in the Ukraine. How ironic and how disgusting is that, Will? Yeah. Yeah. Great point. A flooded, yeah. as you put it, a war flooded with un trackable and disappearing That's weapons. That's exactly right. So it's flooded with weapons. This guy was the best at getting around sanctions, too. So if weapons or, or money weren't supposed to be going somewhere, his job was to find other routes. So how quickly will Vladimir Putin put a guy like Victor Boot back to work, in your opinion? Well, Pete, I mean, he's desperate now, right? No one thought that this war would be going on so long. So what better uh, timing to bring this expert arms trafficker with all his connections. And he's a young guy. He's only in his 50s. And by the way, Pete, he's going to be pissed off at America because he sat in jail all these years. He's going to be loyal to Putin because Putin brought him back home. So it's a no-brainer. Like, you can see this one a mile away. And it's established a footprint. But the biggest problem I have, Pete, it shows the world another weakness of the United States of America, which makes me very sad because I've been in this battle for many years, and I love this country, and it's very sad to see this happen. Yeah. Yeah, I have to imagine how frustrating that's got to be after working so hard to, to put them behind bars. So, Derek Maltz, great perspective this morning. Um, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah. Thank you very much.